In my previous video, I unboxed my new bench drill. I plan to put it on the table I have under my staircase, where I have my welder and my compressor underneath. As you can see, it did not work out. Bummer. I need to have a lower table for my bench drill, as it stands now, it's just for display, there is not enough space to actually operate it. So, as usual, one project leads to more projects. Let me show you what I want to do. I want to create a new lower table for my bench drill, with the shelves under it, and I want to modify the existing table to be a welding table, keeping the same height as today for storing my welder and compressor under it. And uh, I also want to make the welding trolley a bit more compact. I'll show at the end how I did that. So, I have bought some steel pipes. This one, 25 millimeters, and uh, this one, 40 millimeters. Uh, for the dimension of the pipes, so this will be for keeping some shelves underneath one of the tables and the frame. And I have some steel plates here, two millimeter thickness, so they should be quite solid. That is for the tabletop and some shelves. So let's get into some uh, grinding and some welding and let's see if... Uh, yeah, and also uh, another thing here. I also bought some wheels to fit under the table and it uh, has this locking mechanism. Okay, ready to do some calculations on my cardboard CAD system to find the height of the legs for my new table. I measured the height of the bench drill, the total height I had available under my staircase, then subtracting the height of the wheels and the tabletop frame, and the end result should be... Uh, is that correct? Uh, doing a reverse calculation is smart to avoid errors. That probably will happen anyway. And then it's ready for the fun part. Starting with measuring and cutting the parts, then a lot of welding and grinding. I'll start making the tabletop frame, then welding the wheels to the table legs, and uh, then the table legs will be welded to the top frame. It's uh, really not much more to say at this point, so according to my knowledge, it's time to bring out the funk. Okay, I will stop here for a moment. Of course, one of these ends should have the angle the opposite way. More grinding. Nice, well done. The parts are now ready for welding. It can be smart to degrease them first using some thinner or uh, acetone as they are quite oily when you get them. Then ready for welding.
and then the tabletop is uh, tacked together and it's time to check if uh, the anchors are correct and if the steel plates that's supposed to lay on top there actually fits and this time i was lucky the angles are 90 degrees everything seems to fit the next uh, thing then is to weld on the wheels and i made some protection here for the bearing so not too much of the weld debris is getting into the ball bearings. Yep, this is what happens when you forget to turn on the gas for the welder. Played in slow motion here. You can see it just creates a lot of mess and you end up with a very weak weld, looking like a meteorite crater. Ah, oh, please don't do this. I suddenly noticed I was low, really low on gas, so I figured out I better hurry on and weld before I was empty. So the frame is uh, spot welded and now comes the boring part of uh, welding it all together. So uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, the result, hope it will be sturdy enough. So just a quick demo. Yeah, seems to work, fine. And, uh, with the locking mechanism it will be hopefully uh, sturdy enough to not to be wobbling back and forth when I'm doing uh, my drilling on top here. So let's test the strength and now it's just spot welded. It's not really have the full strength yet, but let me check. Yeah, at least it can deal with me. So then let's uh, do some welding and then put the top on and uh, get ready for testing the drill bench. And then all the welding and grinding is done and I'm ready to mount the shelves on the top. I uh, already prepared the steel plates made some cutouts for the corners, so let's see if they fit. Sorry for the noise, that was the first one. The angles here is not perfectly correct, 
but uh, close enough. So let's fit the other ones. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Then the top. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna weld them on these steel plates. I also consider to have some support under where the bench drill is gonna stay because uh, yeah, it's 40 kilos, quite heavy, so I don't have any vibrations there. So let's just try to put the drill bench on top here. Here you can see my modified welder trolley. I made a storage compartment on top of the welder. In the front I have room for my welding mask and on the top rear a small toolbox where I have my welding blanket and some other useful welding equipment. I moved the gas cylinder to the side and uh, made a little sidecar for it. Uh, it has even an extra wheel to support it. And uh, yeah, it all fits uh, nicely under the welding table now and the compressor by the side. So all in all, I'm quite happy with the end result. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.